Told me tales of love and glory Same old sad songs, same old story Siren sings the lullaby No one knew but Lorelei My castle's out of fairy tales Timbers shiver for once their sails A lovesick man who caught her eye No one knew but Lorelei River, river, had mercy, take me down to the sea. If I perish on these rocks, my love no more I'll see. Thought of you in far off places, puzzled over lipstick traces. So help me God, I will not cry. Then I think of Laura Lyle. far. And wondered why no photograph of you beside me. Old man rivers not so shy. He remembers Laura Lie. River, river, have mercy, take me down to the sea. If I perish on his rocks, my love no more I see. I should float upon this stream and see you in my madman's dream I'd sink into your troubled eyes and no one knew but Lorelei but if my ship which sails tomorrow should crash upon these rocks in sorrow I will drown before I die it's you I'll see not Lorelei River, river, have mercy, take me down to the sea. If I perish on these rocks, my love no more I'll see. Told you tales of love and glory. Same old sad song, same old story. Siren sings, no lullaby. No one knew but Lorelei. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed privilege and honor to introduce the Corsair players in our production of Letters from the Orlando. Blade. 
I'll send home as much as I can to you, and you can live comfortably and not have to marry that horrible man. I'm sorry, I just don't see how anyone could mistake you as mad. I've got an idea. Audrey, I'm going to need your help. This is so exciting. <clears throat> Good morrow, Cecilia. Good morrow, Governor Ashby. Wait. Could I have a word? What more could you possibly have to say? Have you given any more thought to my proposal? I've been preoccupied. Yes, I know. Your father. Which is why we must make haste. With your father gone, I can take care of you. I can give you the life that you've always dreamed of. What do you know of my dreams? You know, there are plenty of men, <laughs> plenty of women in Kingston who would love to be in your position. But I've chosen you. You are delicate, meek, and humble. Attributes which are very admirable to a woman and worthy of my love. But even then, you must know just how lucky you are. And what is this? Ahem. You mean to say you don't recognize me? Should I recognize a strange man unaccompanied in the home of my betrothed? Betrothed? I think that's for the lady to decide. But this is why you've not accepted my proposal. Uh, yes. Yes, he is. You mean to say that I've lost out to a man of such little stature? He looks like he hasn't the slightest how to handle that blade. <laughs> That's not what she told me. That's quite enough. Uh, if we must. <clears throat> behind Run your claw along my gut One last time Turn to find an empty space Where you used to lie Look for the spark that lights the night Through a teardrop in my eye Ride on See you I could never go with you no matter how I wanted to. How I wanted to. Look, miss, I am sure your father has trained you well, but we simply do not allow women aboard the ship. Hmm? <laughs> Ahoy there, matey! I heard you were looking for some sorry scallywags to join your crew. And, uh, who might you be, boy? Uh, my name is Robert, sir, and I just peddled the governor with my blade. Oh, that's an impressive claim, lad. I find that hard to believe. I'm tougher than I look. You ready to prove that? Ubis, back off. Not yet, Onions. I'm curious to see where this goes. 
You know where the point goes with all that rum in you. I'd hate to make you see a, make you a fool of yourself. Captain? Yeah. Of all the, um, <clears throat> sorry scallywags we have seen today, he has the most potential. Welcome to the Orlando, mijo. I am Yaquez, but you may call me Capitan. This is my first mate, Amiens. You have already met, Fever. And here we have Williams and Silvius. And what may we call you? My name is Robert, sir. <laughs> Robert! My boy, men, show him around the ship and prepare to set sail. Now we are ready to sail for the horn. We roll and go. Our boots and our clothes are all in the pond with a rollicking randy dandy o. Heave a follow, heave it away. We roll and go. The anchor's on board and the cable's all stored to be rollicking randy dandy o. Men, I should like to say a few words. Today, we lost an irreplaceable member of our crew. Amiens was a fierce and loyal man who served me well as first officer for many years and kept me alive for much longer than that. He fought as well as ever today and it is largely due to his sacrifice that our raid was successful and we come away with our largest bounty yet! Yeah, <laughs> to Amiens! Amiens! Amiens. Uh, ah. And let's not forget the reason the rest of us aren't down in Davy Jones' locker with Amiens. To Robert! Hey, to Robert! Robert. Well, I was just doing my duty. Oh, Williams is right, lad. You helped us keep us all on the task at hand and Help us keep our head when we lost Amiens. You showed yourself a real leader today. A leader? I hardly. Do you forget that I took out the man who had his blade to your throat? <laughs> Jealous, famous, or perhaps he's feeling a bit undersized and inadequate. <laughs> I am not jealous of this boy, and I am perfectly average sized. He doesn't deserve the praise when I can outfight and outdrink him any day of the week. He already beat you once, Favis. Or were you too drunk to remember? <laughs> it's all right, men. Favis feels the need to prove himself. I'm more than happy to oblige. What shall it be, men? Drink or sword? Drink! <laughs> In and ordered a bottle of stout. The bartender said, Sorry, the bill's all sold out. Try whiskey or patties aged 10 years in the wood. Says I, I'll have cider. I hear that it's good. I ah, but never, oh never, oh never again. If I live to be a hundred or a hundred and ten, I fell to the ground and I couldn't get up. After drinking a quart of the Johnny Jump Up. Kingston town with a heave ho haul. Tis there we'll drink and sorrow drown. Good morning, ladies all. You up so soon, Robert? Oh, I will. He is a girl who's always ready to to run off and see. What? Are we not good enough for you, lad? Of course you're good enough for me. Just that I haven't seen her in so long. So, uh, I think I might need a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be young and in love again. 
Don't be a light in now. Silvius, you ain't never been young. Yeah, well, if I had a girl to run on to, I would have jumped ship and swam into port. Aye. to port, and it's been almost a month since our men's died. Don't you think it's about time you selected a new first mate? Ah. I have been giving this some thought, and I think I have made my decision. Yes? A first mate must be a fierce and loyal man. A man who is already an established leader among the crew. A powerful fighter, skilled with both cutlass and cannon. And that is why I have chosen Robert. Robert? I Jacques, is this wise? He's so new to us in our lifestyle. Shouldn't it be someone a little more seasoned? <laughs> someone like you, huh? Yes, <laughs> not to be forward, but you've seen me fight. You've seen me deal. You've seen me lead. I'm the best man for the job. <laughs> I appreciate your conviction, boy, but I have already made my decision. But it is the wrong decision. Do not challenge me. Now go. Help the men prepare the hall. dead. What happened here? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I tried to stop it. It was Robert. He, he became blind with anger when the captain told him that he chose me for first mate instead of him. This is not like Robert. Men, let's go find the boy and give him what he deserves. Bad feeling about this. Helping out this poor woman along with, uh, along with her cart, when three of the largest men I had ever seen came bursting out to this very establishment. They were pirates. I, oh no. Yes, pirates. And, being the governor, it is my sworn duty to take them off the streets and into a cell. Oh, you're so brave, governor. Nay, my dear, it was my responsibility, nay, my honor, to take care of those You then. Do I know you, boy? I'm sorry, sir. I don't think so. I think I know you. I don't, but I'd like to. Sure I do. You're that bastard that stole my Cecilia from me. Uh, come on. This is not kind of fun anymore. Oi, Robert. You thought you could pull one on us, didn't you? What are you talking about, Phoebus? And a pirate to boot. I were pirates. You got a problem with that? Fancy pants. This changes everything. I need my men to deal with you, scum. Did you do it, lad? Did you kill the captain? The captain is dead? What? Don't let him fool you, men. The captain's blood is on his hands. Rose! Who the hell is Rose? 
My friend, he's about to skewer. No, lass. That's Robert. He's a bloody traitor. And he killed our captain. Did you kill your captain? No, I would never. Oh, and a woman. <laughs> a murderer and a liar. All the same, I won't lose any sleep. No! Famous! It's not right! Look, she, she's suffering enough as is. We have our ship. Let's just go. Oh, all right! Don't let me catch you around my ship again, for I will not be so kind a second time. Farewell and adieu, you sweet Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, sweet ladies of Spain. We've received orders from jolly old England. We hope very much far to see you again. Captain Ashby, what an unwanted surprise. Cecilia. You have been made a fool. That boy who's been courting you is a pirate. That's quite enough, Governor Ashby. But of course, you would not have known that. The devils have a reputation for being deceitful scoundrels. Don't worry. At this moment, I'm gathering my guards to go down to that ship and free Kingston of pirates once and for all. And then, once I have unclouded your heart, you and I may have the life we deserve. I must be off, but I will return for you. Rose! Governor Ashby is attacking your ship! It's no longer my ship, remember? What should I care? I can't believe you suddenly don't care about the men in its crew. Your letters are so powerful. They took me there with you. You have a bond with that crew, which I envy. They think that I killed the captain. They don't want anything to do with me. Then you must go prove them wrong. They will kill me. Why would they kill you if you're trying to help them? You obviously don't know a thing about pirates. Then teach me! I'll fight alongside you. What do you two know about fighting? Do you honestly think we've been sitting here on our rumps letting you have all the fun? All right, but let's hurry. Scum. I've turned a blind eye to your misdeeds before, but now it's time to pay for your sins. All right then, let's see here. We've got lust, gluttony, a light sprinkling of greed, and wrath. Does that about cover it? Enough! I am not here to trade bobs with you fools. I am here to win back my love. Oh, you mean our little traitor's sister? Sister? What do you mean? Stand down, Ashby. From what I remember, you barely know where the point on that blade is. What did I tell you, girl? The next time I saw your treacherous hide would be the day you met my blade. I don't know what he's told all of you, but I swear on my father's grave, I never would have harmed the captain. Originally, I signed up to help my sister avoid that scoundrel over there. But you all became family to me. Otherwise, I never would have come back to defend the Orlando or fight against the governor. Well, I believe you. But if you didn't kill him, then who did? Phoebus, what's going on? We've all seen your jealousy. What did you do? I think I've heard enough. Anyone who's left alive can finish their bickering in a cell. Men, to me! Just see. 
Some cultures that there's a mark of a wedding ceremony. <laughs> they look beautiful together. A perfect couple. <clears throat> well, ladies, now what? We can't exactly go home, not after this. Well, the way I see it, the captain wanted you to lead us. I don't know about Will, but I'll welcome you back on board. Captain Rose. Oi! To hell with superstition! You're one of us, whether you're wearing a skirt or trousers. After all, it's how you handle a blade is what counts, and you sure can't handle a blade. Well, ladies, what do you say? It's about time. I could only live through your letters for so long. And count me in as well. Well, you heard them, men. Let's prepare to set sail. Let's get out of here before anyone notices the mess we've made. Aye! Aye! Old tales of love and glory Same old sad songs, same old story Siren sings, no lullaby No one knew but Lorelei My castle's out of fairy tales Timber shiver where once their sails The lovesick man who caught her eye And no one knew but Lorelei River, river, have mercy, take me down to the sea. If I perish on these rocks, my love no more I'll see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the final dress rehearsal of our show. I appreciate having an audience here this evening. My many thanks to my crew, to Bruce Etherson, of course, and thank you to all of you. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the final performance of Letters from the Orlando by the Corsair Players. Father, I'm not bad with the plate. 
I'll send home as much as I can to you. And you can live comfortably and not have to marry that horrible man. I'm sorry. I just don't see how anyone could mistake you as a man. I've got an idea. Audrey, I'm going to need your help. This is so exciting. Good morrow, Cecilia. thoughts of my proposal. I've been preoccupied. Yes, I know. Your father. Which is why we must make haste. With your father gone, I can take care of you. I can give you the life that you've always dreamed of. What do you know of my dreams? There are plenty of women who would love to be in your position. But I've chosen you. You are delicate, meek, and humble. Attributes which are very admirable to a woman, and worthy of my love. But even then, you must know just how lucky you are. What is this? Ahem, you mean to say you don't recognize me? Should I recognize a strange man unaccompanied in the home of my betrothed? Betrothed? I think that's for the lady to decide. So this is why you've not accepted my proposal. Yes, yes, he is. You mean to say that I've lost out to a man of such little stature? He looks like he hasn't the slightest idea how to handle that blade. <laughs> That's not what she told me. That's enough. Miss, I am sure your father trained you well, but we simply do not allow him in aboard this ship. curious to see where this goes. You know where the point goes with all that rum in you. I'd hate to see you make a fool of yourself.
Well, out of all the, um, sorry, scallywags we are seeing today, he has the most right, come potential. On, come on, come on, just go. Welcome to the Orlando, my boy. I am Yaquez, but you may call me Capitan. <laughs> and this is my first mate, Amiens. You've already met Phoebus. And here we have Williams and right. Sylvius. And what may we call you? My name is Robert, Captain. <laughs> Robert, my boy. Men, show him around the Orlando and prepare to set sail. Hey, poor sir. Hey. Now we're ready to sail for the heart. Hey. Uh, what is it, Phoebus? We're back to port, and it's been almost a month since our men's died. 
No, you think it's about time you selected a new first mate? I've been giving this much thought, and I think I have made my decision. Yes? My first mate must be a fierce and loyal man. A well-respected among member among the crew, who's already proven himself a leader. A powerful fighter, skilled with both cutlass and cannon. And that is why I have chosen Robert. Robert? <laughs> Aye, Robert. Jacques, is this wise? He's so new to us in our lifestyle. Shouldn't it be someone a little more seasoned? Someone like you. Yes, not to be forward, but you've seen me fight. You've seen me lead, you've seen me deal. <laughs> I'm the best man for the job. I appreciate your conviction, boy, but I have made my decision. But it is the wrong decision. Do not challenge. Now go. Help the men prepare the hall. I tried to stop it. It was Robert. You've all seen how he's been cozying up to the captain. He became blind with anger when the captain told him that he chose me for first mate instead of him. This is not like Robert. I... Men, let's go find the boy and give him what he deserves. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> woman with her car, oh. when suddenly three of the biggest men I had ever seen came bursting out of this very establishment. <laughs> they were pirates, you see. Oh, no! Yes, pirates. And, being the governor, it was my sworn duty to take them off the streets and into a cell. Oh, you're so brave, governor. Nay, my darling, it was my duty. No, my responsibility. You there. I know you, boy. I'm uh, um, sorry, sir. I don't think so. I think I know you. I don't, but I'd like to. <laughs> sure I do. You're that bastard that stole my Cecilia from me. Come on, girls. This isn't our kind of fun anymore. Boy, Robert, you thought you could pull one on us, didn't you? What are you talking about, Phoebus? And a pirate to boot. I wear pirates. You got a problem with that? Fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'll need my men to deal with you rats. Did you do it, lad? Did you kill the captain? The captain is dead. What are you? Don't let him fool you, man. The captain's blood is on his hands. Rose! Who the hell is Rose? My friend who he's about to skewer. No, lass. That's Robert. He's a bloody traitor, and he killed our captain. Did you kill your captain? No, I would never. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're a woman. <laughs> a murderer and a liar. All the same, I won't lose any sleep. No, Phoebus! It's not right! Look, she suffered enough as is. We have our ship. Let's just go. Oh, all right! Don't let me catch you around my ship again, for I will not be so kind a second time. What an unwanted surprise. 
Cecilia, you have been made a fool. <clears throat> that boy who's been courting you is a pirate. Ashby, that's quite enough. But of course, you could not have known that. The devils have a reputation for being deceitful scoundrels. Don't you worry, though. I am gathering my men and going down to that ship, and I will free Kingston of Pirates once and for all. And then, once I have unclouded your heart, you and I may have the life we deserve. I must be off, but I will return for you. to your misdeeds before, but it is time to pay for your sins. You know what? Fine. We've got lust, gluttony, <laughs> a light sprinkling of greed, and wrath. Is that about cover it? Enough! I am not here to trade bombs with you fools! I am here to win back my love. Oh, you mean our little traitor's sister? Sister? What do you mean? Stand down, Ashby. From what I remember, you barely know where the point on that plate is. What did I tell you, girl? The next time that I saw your treacherous hide would be the day that you met my blade. I don't know what he's told all of you, but I swear on my father's grave, I never would have harmed the captain. Originally, I signed up to help my sister avoid that scoundrel over there. But you all became family to me. Otherwise, I never would have come back to defend the Orlando or fight against the governor. Well, I believe you. But if you didn't kill him, then who did? Bemis, what's going on? We all saw your jealousy. What did you do? Fine, I did it. I killed him, but he was going to appoint that, that thing as our first mate. All right, I've heard enough. Anyone who's not dead can finish their bickering in a cell. Men, to me! Go, take the ship!
Told me tales of love and glory Same old sad songs, same old story Siren sings the lullaby No one knew but Lorelei My castle's out of fairy tales Timbers shiver for once their sails A lovesick man who caught her eye No one knew but Lorelei River, river, have mercy Take me down to the sea If I perish on these rocks My love no more I'll see Thought of you in far off places Puzzled over lipstick traces So help me God, I will not cry Then I think of more alive Traveled far and wondered why No Photograph of you beside me Old man rivers not so shy He remembers Lorelei River, river, have mercy Take me down to the sea If I perish on these rocks My love no more I'll see I should float upon this stream And See you in my madman's dream I'd sink into your troubled eyes And no one knew but Lorelei But if my ship, which sails tomorrow Should crash upon these rocks in sorrow I will drown before I die It's you I'll see, not Lorelei River want to take a look at an event happening here in the heartland. Tons of families setting sail and dropping anchor at the Midwest Pirate Fest in Papillion. There are people there dressed as pirates, but it's not all you're going to see there this weekend. Definitely a very popular event. There's a trove of costume characters, including mermaids, fairy folk, and the pirates hated rivals, the Royal Navy Guards. There's also five stages for unique performances and musical shows throughout the day. You can test your hand at some medieval games like archery, axe throwing, and there are some rides and activities a little safer for the kids. Like playing cops and robbers, right? It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a, a place where we can have fun on this beautiful playground and share our love of this sort of thing with everybody else who wants to come out and play with us. This is at the Bellevue Berry Farm. Organizers say they meet once a week year round to plan and prepare for this weekend. It's 10 bucks for adults, 7 bucks for kids, 12 and under. The fest ends in about an hour, so if you don't have time to get out here tonight or out there tonight, it opens at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Definitely a popular event there. Right here in the Metro, people are up to no good. That's at Pirate Fest this weekend. Actors dress up and welcome families to a medieval getaway in Sarpy County. Mason Morrow continues our coverage. Anyone who's left alive can finish that bickering in a cell. Set sail, drop anchor at Bellevue Berry Farm for some swashbuckling fun. We consider it a family and we have a lot of fun together. Playing swords and strap your boots for the Midwest Pirate Fest. Pirates parade around the land, the Royal Navy holding things at bay. We have to share the island with the Royal Navy, which can be fun but they're all stuffy and wearing stuff like this. They are pirates. We are the civilized world, and we are protecting the high seas from their sorts of people. Pirates! A treasure trove of costume characters, mermaids, and fairies. Are you a fairy? I'm a real fairy. It's like playing cops and robbers, right? It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a, a place where we can have fun on this beautiful playground and share our love of this sort of thing with everybody else who wants to come out and play with us. Shows, rides, and axe throwing, transporting fanatics and kids to a pirate's cove for the weekend. It's just so cute making their days. It's magical. You get to see like the light in children's eyes when they see something that they maybe they've seen on TV or they've read about, but here they are actually living it and experiencing it.